Welcome back to another clay video. Today, we are going to create the lunatic cultist boss from Terraria. And if you want a chance to win a copy of Terraria, make sure you join my giveaway by clicking on the link in the description of this video. Let's begin by mixing together this green and white, and this will be the main color for our dungeon. In the game, you can find dungeons in either green, red, or blue, but it seems like almost every time I make a world, I always get the green one. So I don't know if this is more common or if that's just sort of a coincidence that I always get it. The dungeon is where you spawn this boss, so I thought it would be really cool to make this as a base. And if I were to just create the boss, it wouldn't make for a very interesting video since it's very basic and very simple in detail. Let's add some extra texture by scratching and denting in different spots, and this will make this dungeon look very old and used. We also have some bricks on the top part here. And again, we'll scratch it up and make a bunch of holes into it. And we also have something else to help us out. The return of the toothbrush. It has been a pretty long time since I've used this toothbrush, but it's great for texturing. As you can see, it makes all these tiny little dots and little holes, and there's not really another tool that can simulate this, so it's really a nice tool when you're doing stone textures. These are going to be the poles that support the roof of the dungeon. And we'll do the same thing for creating the pattern. First we make all of the bricks. And then we scratch it up and make a bunch of holes into it. And again, let's hit it with the toothbrush. And this is not the toothbrush I use to brush my teeth. Let's get that out of the way and we can start working on the top of the dungeon. This part is a little bit tricky, but it's not too bad. We have to cut out all of these different jagged edges for the bricks at the top. And I'm going off of a picture of a dungeon from the game, but I'm not sure if all the dungeons have a different design. So I guess this at least matches one of the possible dungeons in the game. Now after we remove that, we can do the same thing we did for the other ones with the brick pattern. I always love creating things with stones or bricks, like castles, they just have such cool detail and I always love medieval things, so whenever I get the chance to, I like to go all out with the brick details. I thought we could use a little bit more detail on the base, so I wanted to create this ramp at the end of it. And we just need a little bit of extra texture on there to match up with the other bricks. Let's get everything onto the baking tray, and our dungeon is ready to get baked. After baking, we can take the super glue and start attaching the pieces of the dungeon together before we start working on the actual boss. We have the three pillars, and now we can put the ceiling onto it. And this looks pretty awesome. I think probably the coolest base I've ever made for a clay figure. Let's begin creating the cult members. I think these guys look really awesome. I love the mixture of the gold and the blue on the robes. We need to create five of these cult members. When you find them, you only see four. Two of them are archers, and two of them are sort of worshipping this floating tablet in the air. And after you defeat them, it summons the lunatic cultus, the leader of the cult. And this is how I created the hood for them. And they all have the same hood, however there's a little bit different details on the robes. Now let's create the arms, and I always create arms with this slanted cut on the side that's going to attach to their body. This makes it look much less bulky and attaches much easier. We can also use the modeling tool to secure it a little bit better into place.
let's fill in the hood using some black clay. And this will sort of just make it look like it's a dark hole. You can't really see their face. Here's the bow and arrow that these two have. We can take some gold clay for the hands, and all of these have golden hands or gloves, except for the lunatic in the middle. He has a little bit of a different design. We also have this gold wrapping that goes around the hood. And we have to do the same thing on all of them. The archers have a little bit of a variation. They don't have eyes in their face, and they also have this wrapping around their neck. Now let's create this awesome detail for the last cult member, the lunatic. I'm not really sure what this is, I guess just some extra detailing onto the robe, but it looks pretty cool. We have a little bit of gold outlining here, and just cut in a few different markings. And now we can place this onto the robes. Now we have these golden cuffs, and then we have orange hands. I forgot this golden stripe on the top of the hood. And the mask is sort of like a plague doctor mask. We need some little eye holes on the side, and we can fill these in with a little bit of black clay. And our cult members are ready to get baked. After baking, we can take some super glue again, and we can attach the members onto the dungeon. And that is our final detail. So, here it is, the lunatic cultist and cult members from Terraria. I hope you all enjoyed the creation of the Lunatic Cultist boss. If you want to see some more Terraria bosses I've created, you can see a playlist up here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.